bring them everywhere. That's what RG gets for being the Madden guru. He gets hooked up with the, the Bose headphones. Now, now he's gonna try to talk himself into one of those Madden Bowl hats. Yeah. As we are underway, VY and Pavit. Game two of Group A. Reminder, hit that squad button so you can watch our other game between Six Sense and Kane. But we are here, and as these guys set up, RG, give the people at home maybe who uh, haven't watched it before what they're doing and, and using all this play clock early in the game. So earlier on the game, when you're at the play call screen, obviously that's where people select their play, but there's also a number of different things you can do. What they're doing right now is they're doing their formation sub. So they're going to each core formation that they have and making sure the exact personnel that they want is where they want it. So if you have one formation where you want Moss in the slot, you go and you put them on the slot. If you want them on the outside, you go and you put them on the outside for that formation. On top of that, they're also using a mechanic that's called audibles on the fly. And what that does is when you enter um, the formation screen, you press the left trigger button, and that pulls up your current audibles for that formation and allows you to select which one do you want to sub out for a different play. So it really allows these guys to come to the line of scrimmage with what plays they feel more comfortable with, kind of like Peyton Manning, where you come to the line, you see what the defense is in, and then you check to the play that you want. And audibles on the fly uh, ensures that you get to bring the plays that you want with you to that line of scrimmage. Tom, we get the ball to start the game, running with Michael Vick, he'll chuck it out of bounds. And talk about those formation subs, that's why we saw in the last game, Shannon Sharp come into ha at halfback in that deuce close, but not throughout the entire playbook. I don't know if that was a straightforward formation sub, though. You, ca you can't get your tight end at halfback unless you're doing a little extra scum. He <laughs> might, 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 might have had a little extra sprinkle outside of the formation sub if I'm being Got a bunch of people though. at home like, how do I get Shannon Sharp? And, and this is what they'll do. They'll put him at, you know, a certain point in the depth chart, then you do whatever package. And uh, I mean, they get they get real into it. And you can't blame them. We're, we're playing for big money. We're playing for a lot of glory. You, you, you got to do whatever is within the rules to give yourself the best chance to win the game. How about that throw to Randy Moss, the tough catch in coverage. Oh, oh. VY reminder 0 oh, and 1, Pavin 1 and 0 oh, to start out Group A. We got a ton of action. We're so happy you are along with us. You're on day one of the Madden Bowl. Vic, right side. A little comeback route. Easy pitch and catch, another first down. Comeback route's probably the most underutilized route in all of Madden. And here we go, right here, Nick, what you're taking a look at on your screen, too. This is VY Electrifies defense. And as you can see, it's very depleted as well. One thing that he does do, and please leave this up on the screen real quick, is this Dion Buchanan right here. He has 92 speed, and he has a package that gets him at the D tackle position. So what that's going to allow him to do is put Buchanan on a spy in the D line. So when Vic starts rolling out trying to ad lib all of these plays, you actually have someone that has some serious speed to keep up with him. So that's going to be an interesting. Um, Matchup right there. You got to keep your eye on that Dion Buchanan right here for VY Electrify because he's likely going to be the one that he's going to rely on to contain Vic. Now flipping the play. Julio alone on the right side and some pretty good bunch formation on the left. Yeah, there's Buchanan in that spot. Looks over the middle of the field. A diving play can't be made, but a big hit on Vernon Davis and VY's defense setting up a third and ten. Yeah, I love. I, I just love that tactic from VY. We know that these guys want to scramble around and make all these crazy plays and let the defense break down with Vic. At least with this strategy, he's given himself a chance and spend the cap on a guy that when you spy him on Mike Vic, he's going to be able to keep up with him. I'm telling you, not a lot of players went that deep into their um, into their defense, and that was a tactic that I really only saw from VY and a few other guys. I love it. Yes, yeah, there's, there's a spy. He's on Vic's butt. Trying to get him on the sidelines, toe tap and catch. It's in bounds. It's a first down and Randy Moss coming up big for Pavin once again. I mean, you, you, you might be able to contain Vic, but then we also saw the secondary. Definitely doesn't have the secondary to contain this amazing offensive receivers that Pavin has. It's another big first down, and for the second game in a row, Nick, Pavin just walking down the field on his opening drive. Look like uh, VY might be able to get some stops with some good plays on first and second, but getting killed on third down early. Got a run. That's Joe Mixon. Lower the shoulder, trying to bolt through Deion Sanders, but Sanders makes the tackle. Not after a six yard run. I got him, man. I got him. I got him. He's 
The running game for Pavin. Really, really contained by Six Sense in the first game. Up until that last drive, just when Six Sense needed to stop. Couldn't what makes contain. it worry him some is he has that Julio right there. So you just have to be careful. You never know if he'll, he'll hit you with a pass, throw a high ball to Huli. And then he's running stretch. I mean, he's got three tight ends over there. It's a lot to deal with. Trying to pry that ball free, but it's another first down for Joe Mixon down to the two-yard line. Here goes Pop, and he's going back to that goal line formation. And the fact that you know that he can pass out of that goal line formation. You see Julio in at the tight end formation, at the tight end position. Makes it way hard to stop. Usually you see goal line, you're just ready to run commit, Nick. You're ready to sell out, all out blitz against Pav, and you're not comfortable doing that because you know he's willing to pass the ball out of this formation. Now he's not scared to air it out inside the goal line. Two yards away from an early lead. Here in game two of group A, just gets the snap off. Play action, takes off. Oh, that's hit. risky. Takes a big hit at the one yard line. Oh, that was risky if you're Pav, and I mean, I understand Mixing in the pass or whatnot, but scrambling with Vic, allowing him to get hit on the one. That could have been a fumble. He's going to try to sneak this in. Line him up, hit him in the mouth. Half a yard away. Oh, he got it. Gets a stop. What a push from the interior. I was about to say, he's going to try to sneak that in, but there was like four or five goons just sitting in that A-gap waiting for him, and now he's got third down from the one. This is going to be an interesting play here, Nick. This is a big one. How about VY can get some momentum early with a stop inside the one yard line. But you never know with Pavin. He could air this ball out. We saw that in the first game. <laughs> Look at all this beef that he has right here. And off Mixon, patient run, cuts it back inside. Take a bow, Joe. You put him on the board. Good play call right there. Obviously, VY and his sneak defense. And a lot of times what happens, Nick, is you'll have a defense that can specifically stop that quarterback sneak because you know it's what everybody wants to do. But it's going to leave you susceptible to some of those runs to, uh, runs to the halfback. Just calls a good old-fashioned dive against that sneak D. Punches it in for six. And another impressive opening drive for Pavin. I want to call that a stretch run, more of an inside zone run, a great read to cut it back inside. And while well, these guys set up their uh, adjustments, uh, remind the people at home what playbooks these guys are uh, going to be looking at here in game two. Well, we knew Pavin was in the Tampa Bay offensive playbook in the New York Giants defense. And this is refreshing. My God, VY Electrify in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. I don't think I've been able to say that all year in a salary cap event. I love it, VY. And he's also in the New York Giants defensive playbook, for, so not a ton of uh, new stuff there. I mean, that Giants playbook, if you haven't got the memo now, it's obviously... It's not bad. It's very popular, and a, a big part of it is it has nickel normal, it has the big nickel over G, and more importantly, it has this nickel 3-3-5 defense that Pavin has made famous on the Madden circuit after his run at the club championship. First and 10 for VY, and off up the middle. Chris Johnson. Don't see a whole lot of Chris Johnsons being played here in salary cap. <laughs> the funny thing is with VY, VY Electrify stands for Vince Young. He is a big Titans fan, so for him to have, you know, the legend who just retired, signed a one-day contract with the Titans. Gotta love when you see that. I love that stuff. Retired with him, so that, that's his guy. And he also, um, the thing with VY that I also should mention is he has two halfbacks on his team. He plays with Chris Johnson and Tevin Coleman, uh, but he'll rotate them at halfback and tight end as well. So he gets that extra speed at the tight end. It makes it really hard for these guys to cross man. And surprisingly or not, when you have those speed guys at run blocking, uh, sure, they're not the greatest blockers, but they get to their assignment so quickly, they don't miss a lot of blocks. I said, I said VY, you don't see a whole lot of Chris Johnson's. VY is the only person with Chris Johnson in their lineup in the final 16. I've seen those unique players getting mixed in here in salary cap. Second down to six, Lamar Jackson at the helm for VY. Look at all the shifting on the D-line by Pavin. And the thing that's interesting is we don't ever really see Pavin all oh, wide oh, open. Randy. Oh, Randy Moss inside the 35. 37 yards, a chunk play 
from VY, not known as a passer. 7 of 14 in his first game, only 146 yards and two picks, but he looked like a prolific passer right there. Nice dot, and I was about to say, Pavin got out of his nickel 3-3-5 defense for one play, Detroit, gives up a big Detroit. chunk, and then gets right back in it. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Inside the 35. Look at this. Lamar down goes Deep. Lamar. That Pavin defense. Ronnie Lott with the sack on first down. It's a big time adjustment right there from Pavin. Sending Lott off that edge. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. See what VY has. He said he wanted to try to run the ball. We've seen him be quite pass happy though so far in this game. Second down and 14. VY looking to answer the early touchdown from Pavin. Lamar out of the pocket. Looking right side. Did he fit it in? Oh, he couldn't get the feet in bounds. It was a nice catch, but just didn't get the toes inside the white line. How patient was he? I mean, have you ever waited that long to throw the corner route and try to get that toe drag swag? I mean, these guys are so patient with that progression. It looked like he might have had Coleman up the seam. He had the playmaker. Pavin broke to it. Nonetheless, incomplete pass, Nick. Big third down. And VY converted. Gonna have to put the ball in the air. Look at Pavin moving these little corners on the outside. Blitz picked up. He's gonna dump it off underneath to that second running back. That's Tevin Coleman. He's not gonna pick up the first, though. It's gonna bring up a fourth down decision. Looks like VY is gonna kick the three. Yeah, let's take your points here. And again, Pavin opens up the game with a touchdown and then holds his opponent to three. up right down the middle it's not seven we saw this in the sixth sense game Pavin's defense very bend don't break only giving up field goals yep that's exactly how he plans on playing defense um he'll mix in a blitz every now and then but he knows that he doesn't have the personnel that just really really get stops and that's the consensus is these guys know this is an offensive mode a lot of them spend the majority of that cap on the offense and yeah, they're hurting on defense. And, you know, that, that's the decision they get to make. Last play before the end of the first quarter. Taking the snap, Vic steps up, drop underneath, a tough drop, and we've hit the end of the first quarter. 7-3, Pavin on top with the ball and a chance to go up by more. Want to go from a rookie to a pro in Madden Ultimate Team? Watch Madden Daily Drops every morning at 10.30 a.m. from Monday through Saturday. Get exclusive information on upcoming players and promos in Madden 19, along with in-game rewards for linking your accounts. Big shout out to Farls and Gibbs. Madden Daily Drops. Second quarter action. VY electrified, taking out Pavin. Game two of Group A. So happy you're along with us, Nick Mazesco, RG. Madam Bull just getting underway. Quick throw underneath for Pavin. Oh, what a, what a spin move. I, I believe is RG, I believe that was a sticky little spin move there. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're gonna get when you have Tyreek Hill. I mean, not only can he burn you deep, but if you just get the ball in his hands, he, he has that, you know, agility and spin moves to really pick up some yards after that catch, so. That's good utilization of your personnel, get, getting the ball in the hands of a guy like Tyreek in the open field. It's always nice when you can throw the ball three yards down the field and pick up 11. A little run play. The run, as I said, the run was a, a little tough for Pavin in the first game up until the last drive. And so far, VY's defense containing Joe Mixon. Uh, uh, containing Joe Mixon is not the concern here, though, Nick. I mean, we know Pavin's going to mix in a little bit of run, but the main thing you got to do is just not let him continue to move the ball out of this bunch to guys like that. Randy Moss picking up these big chunks. Wasn't a whole lot of uh, defense around Randy Moss. A little surprised he went with a high pass there. The one thing, again, that I'm liking of VY's defense here, though, Nick, is he's forcing Pavin to kind of stay in that pocket because of that Buchanan spy. So he's not able to run around as reckless as he's used to, playmaker and all of that stuff with Mike Vick. Third and three for Pavin. Madden 19 club champion. 
See how he has to stay in the pocket. He's gonna hit Randy Moss again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep riding that Moss train. Exactly. And this is just interesting. I mean, VY willing to let him check down to that little hitch route, and it's open. But I'll tell you what, Nick, that's not a route you want to throw all the way up the field. You can get an overthrow on that high ball. It could get picked off. If a defender gets over there, he can knock the ball out at the catch point. You can get a little tipped interception. It's not the way you really want to make your living if you're popping. There he goes into the trips tight end. We don't see this often from him. Vic. Dump off underneath. It is methodical, it is surgical, but it is effective. Just phenomenal pocket presence right there by Pavin. There, there was no spy on the field that time. He still just stepped up into the pocket, waited for the hat. They let the verticals clear out all the middle defenders, and then it's an easy dump down to Mixon. UI looking for his defense. Come up with a big play. So we near the two minute warning in the first half. 7-3, Pavin on top, looking to go 2-0 and in group play. Pavin loves to sneak in little play actions when you're expecting them to run. Here he goes. Oh, that left side, good Nothing. contain on the edge, though. We're going to have to chuck that ball away. Nice defense from VY. It's very good defense. And I don't mind that play if you're Pavin. You're in field goal range, it's first down. You're not running the ball great, you know. Let, let me make him think it's run, and then, you know, maybe he'll give me that big play touchdown. If not, I'll throw it away. I like that play call by Pavin, even though it didn't, uh, you know, result in any yards for him. The, the, the intent was good. These guys are locked in. And think about that belt already, even though it's group play. They, they know what the end goal is. Second down and 10. Vic rolls left, looks left. That's Randy Moss, but he didn't get the feet in bounds. Tried to get a little rack hack catch there, but instead it's going to be a third and ten. It's a nice little combination. He had a post route going over the middle, a corner double, route double, double. with a streak to clear out the cornerback to let the corner route try to get open. VY had some good man-to-man -man coverage there, though. Ma made it a difficult throw. Uh-oh. Uh, it's going to set up a fourth and two. Let's throw it out to Rico Williams at the Players' Lounge. What's going on, Rico? Breaking news when it feels like breaking. The players' lounge just let me know that Pavin is throwing these high point passes to wide open receivers to prevent them from getting hit stick. For all you players out there, add this to your arsenal and it'll help you play like a pro. Fourth and two, and Pavin usually aggressive on fourth down. He's just going to take his three. It's up, it's good, it's a one score ball game. It's going to be a big drive right here, Nick, for VY Electrify. All right, as this goes through the back of the end zone, RG, let me ask a question from, a, from a, more of a novice Madden player. When these guys pull up their play art, you see one of the routes is red. What does that mean? The red route on your play art, that's the primary wide receiver, and that's a really good question, Nick. If you're a beginner player and you're calling a play and you're a pass play and you're not sure who to throw to, more often than not, the first receiver you're going to want to look to is that red route because that's the player that the play's designed for. It doesn't mean you always throw to him because somebody could guard that, but that is the intended receiver of the play. And more often than not, that's the guy that the play's looking to get open. So, you know, if you're, play call, if you're a Noivis uh, play caller and uh, you really don't know who to go for, look at that play out, look at that primary wide receiver, a.k.a. the red route and try to fit it into that guy when you see him open in space. It's a really good question, Nick. It's a great way to organize your reads. Sometimes there's so much information. You get four wide receivers out there. Where do I look first? Yeah, and you see right here on your screen, uh, at that play call screen, one of those routes red, and that's what we call the primary receiver because, again, it's the primary read. And that, that's how it is in real football. Each play has a guy, the quarterback knows that that's who he's looking for. And, if he's not open, he'll go to a second, third progression, but that's the first progression read right there. Key third down here for VY. It's got Moss in the slot on the left. Dropping back, the pressure's coming from Pavin. Oh. Oh, wow, what a, Odell Beckham, you saw the hands on his head. Beckham bailed out a, what would be generously called a questionable read. Uh, that's one of those reads where you're happy you caught it, but you're not proud about it. <laughs> And you saw by V.Y.'s body language, he, he knew we got away with one right there. Deep, deep breath, still have the ball, didn't make a, a game-killing play. 10-3, Pavin on top, V.Y. with the ball. 
down to 40 seconds and counting. Lamar rolls right. He's got X down the field. Oh, oh he's got it. Oh. And that's what I love about that offense, the single back wing flex, twin tight end. Nobody's running that, he rolls out, distracts Poppins' user, has a deep post route over the middle for a crispy dot. And I told you we'd have a treat with his unique play style. I haven't seen a play like this all season from this formation. Look at this, that middle of the field spreads like the Red Sea. Yes, look, look how pumped Let's he is. Let's do something different at me, man. They know what's on the line. And you heard him throw something different at me like I'm doing to the rest of the community with my unique offense. I'm liking it, B.Y. They may have been lab partners, but it is all business here at the Madden Bowl. Pavin, though, he's got two timeouts. Only going to pick up eight there. But you watch that play, RG. The underrated part is that B route going to the right side. It held that safety, which is what opened up the middle of the field. Yeah, you got to stretch the field. People got to, you know, you got to go with the deepest guy. And what that's going to do is open up some of that stuff underneath. And not to be overshadowed by the throw from Lamar right on the money. Second and two. Vic. Look at downfield. He's got oh. a man. One more time. That's Vernon Davis to the 23-yard line. And Pavin goes, anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah, Pavin cooks up a laser of his own. And just like that, he's right back in VY territory. But keep in mind, only 18 seconds left with one timeout. Pavin's got to have a sense of urgency right here if he wants to turn this into a touchdown. Vic, first Moss. Steps oh, he up. missed him. Mr. Reed trying to get out of bounds. He will with 12 seconds left. Oh, that was a scum little stutter post by Moss. A little unique route. You don't see that often. He got open up the seam, but Pavin had begun scrambling. Wasn't able to find it. You got to watch out. He likes to throw to Moss in the back corner of the end zone we've seen on this play from him. Hey, second not and there. Seven. Ooh, look at got that. Look at him off. Right side. Oh, the user Ooh. made a mistake, and Pavin gave him a mistake right back. It's like kind of nasty. Like he was like looking off the user a little bit. I don't know how you look someone off in a Madden game, but he did it. Just checked down to the drag last second, but you're right. Bad user. Could have been a touchdown. Now he's got one shot here, Nick. Maybe two at the most. Dang. Why? RB, no. Nope. Oh. He's lucky that's not a fumble. Oh, man. Big stop right there for VY. Pavin going to have to settle for a field goal. Ball is down. Kick is up. It is good. We've hit halftime. 13 to 10. Pavin a slim lead, but it's far from over. Here in our main game in pod A. We've got one other game going on right now. Group A action. And for highlights on that one, let's throw it out to Rico Williams. What's going on, Rico? We have a barn burner going on here in pod B. Let's take a look. It all started out with Canes on offense. We know he loves to run the ball, but he was able to air it out, which put him right in the red zone, which he was able to go ahead and punch it in here for the score and take a seven to nothing lead. But we know six cents, he has a pretty good sense of how to come back, as RG has said. He would not be outdone here. He went up top himself and threw that dot, which set up a field goal, which cut it to a four point lead. He was able to get a stop on Canes, which allowed him to get the ball back, and he would make sure that he made the most of his opportunity as he went up top right there. That got him in field goal range again for another big score, which cut it to a seven to six lead. Close, but we have another half of football to play, guys. Back to you. We got two barn burners here in game two of Group A. Make sure you hit that Twitch squads button so you can keep track of both of them. We're gonna get it started back up here. 10 minutes of gameplay to go. Pop it. VY, it's a three point ball game, RG. It seems as even as any matchup can get. Oh, this is a good matchup. I, I don't know who, who to take in this one. VY starting to turn up on offense a little bit, gets the ball to start the second half. If you're in the Twitch chat, who do you got? Give me a one for VY. Let me get a two for Pavin. 
I'm Tiger, torn. Ty's not an option in this one. No tie. Gotta be a winner. I'm torn. I don't know. This is a good game so far. Let's see what VY does. Let's get back to his ground and pound attack. Seeing a lot of twos. And up. Uh, Chris Johnson. The big hole game. up the middle. First down. And there's the run game VY was talking about. He said he needed to get Chris Johnson going. Hasn't been getting him the carries that he expected to. It's a good way to open it up right there. Chris Johnson, of course, the legend, Titan. Back in the Titans uniform. I just love seeing some grown man football on the center, pound the rock. Three yards in a cloud of dust. Oh, I guess that was 11 yards in a cloud of dust on that last play. VY is only 25 years old, but he must be an old soul. A game plan like this. Hard nose football. Win the battle up front. The trench. Oh, he's out. That's Chris Johnson. Big back in. Oh! He's to the 30, 20, 10. CJ putting points on the board for VY1. A spin and juke to put him back on top. VY electrify. Some of them call him a matted nerd. They say he has all the plays, you know, all the rosters, whatever it may be. Right there, he had all the stick work wow that was a phenomenal run i haven't had a run like that in years what a way to kick off the half from vy electrify electrifying the crowd look at this one more time and a reminder he's the only player with chris johnson on his team how about that move chris johnson trying to make everybody else jealous they don't have him on their team you didn't let run you know you're playing me. You didn't let Rundy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Pavin can hear him. They got the noise canceling headsets. They got the music going. VY's still talking to him. I promise you're never going to be on the VY is capping hard. And there's that Buchanan with the sack. We told you about him, Nick. That's the Vic stopper. That was a brilliant move. And in no world, you know, would you think. I need to put D on Buchanan at D tackle. But the way these guys are playing the game and building their rosters, and they don't have great offensive line, it's actually a smart, smart thing to do in order to contain this quarterback. And Pavin doesn't like to run the ball, so he's not going to hurt you there. There he is again, another hit. Oh. Yeah, you see. He's feeling confident. He just told me up at the thing, I told you, RG, that's Dion Buchanan. He was telling me that this guy's going to be an X Factor, and he's not lying so far. But now he needs to get off the field here, third and 11. We've seen Pavin convert here more times than not. No panic from our club champion, though. But looking for an answer. VY's pumped. Their Chris Johnson housed it. And his defense come up with a big play. Vic, left side. That's Vernon Dropped Davis. It. Fourth and one. Whoa, how about a monumental play here in the third quarter? Stephen Appleblatt from Manalapin, New Jersey. 25 years old, 0-1 in this group. Starting to get himself some serious momentum. And it's fourth and 11. He could change the game right here, Nick. Monumental. Can VY keep the momentum going? Outside. Flag down. There's that Buchanan a little. <laughs> A little excited. A little excited. I mean, he's playing oh. out of position. He's at the tackle. That's not. He's looking to get after he's it. He's going to make some mistakes, some mental mistakes. So a big drop on third down, but at five yards cuts to a fourth and six for Pavin. Got a fake snap again if you're Pavin here. See if you can get that extra five. Take the snap. No fake snap. Vic steps up underneath. That's easy. Oh, uh -oh that's Tyreek Hill. Oh, oh, that's Tyreek Hill. Oh, he breaks the tackle inside the 18. It looked like a six-yard gain. It turned into 60. Oh, sometimes, Nick, you don't need a spin. You don't need a juke to get nasty on the sticks. That's just good old-fashioned stick work right there. Get to the numbers. Cut up the sideline smooth without triggering the Fred Flintstone tiptoe animation. And just get on your horse with Tyreek. Way to respond if you pav. Shout out to all the guys at the Buffalo Lodge for that toe tap down the sideline. 17-13. VY on top. But Pavin with a big fourth down conversion. Little confidence. Looks left side. High pass. Put it on the board. That's six points for a club champ. 
And now Pavin's talking to VY. And remember, these guys are French, but they're not holding anything back right now. Emotions are high on that stage. We got a good ball game. The groups are tense. We're in the biggest tournament of the year. I love this game. Pavin. Look at the VY going, I'm a belt winner. How about settle down? I got one myself, one of those belts, and it was by one of these plays. Throwing it up top. What a read. Oh, yeah. He had a step on Humphrey. That's only like an 85 overall Humphrey. It. Even if you wanted to, you can't guard it. <laughs> go on, go on. Bully. Go on, go on. No love loss against these lap partners. It's back to a three-point game. Chris Johnson. Right side, Pavin says settle down. Let's throw it over to Rico Williams for a game break. Rico, what's going on? We've had our second half start off with an amazing buck. He got the stop on defense, but he showed off his stick work here. As six cents use all six of those senses to find some daylight, and he's at the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. And now we got ourselves a ball game. Oh, how about the hesitation step? Uh. What's in the water out here in Woo! San Francisco? Everyone's just got the stick work going. Give me a bottle of water, somebody. I've been dreaming about getting my stick work back like that. Oh, my goodness. These guys looking tough. It's the best 16 players here at the Madden Bowl, and they're proving it here. There's only Group A. We got three more groups to go. Hand up. Johnson. Pick up two to the 40-yard line. VY just with this unique style of offense, just mixing in the run, mixing in the pass. Like you said, he's the only player with Chris Johnson. As a Titans fan, you can't blame him. I mean, we know speed kills in Madden, so why not go get you one of the fastest over, running backs? Sharp in motion. Johnson with the ball right up the middle. Hit. Pavin says, hey, CJ, settle down. It's a big hit from Pavin. I'm telling you, Pavin known for laying some big hits. People don't know it. He almost lost. He was going to lose the, the Raiders Club Championship. He almost wasn't even in that club event, Nick. He was down. His opponent had ball. The game was over, and Pavin shot in the backfield with Derwin James and popped him, caused the fumble, went on to win that game. It was a $100,000 play. Turned out to be. It turned out to be one, I'm telling you. Third and five. Lamar. The defense. Underneath gets it to Coleman. It's going to set up a huge fourth down for VY. This VY electrifies offense. You see that 96 overall, Chris Johnson, 96 overall, Sharp, right, Odell, Randy Lucky Moss, 56. and then he has Tevin Coleman as his backup running back. You can't see him on screen. He spent right, 664 cap on that offense Lucky without Lucky abilities. Lucky. Fourth and two, Sharp in motion, VY. He'll give it to his workhorse, and CJ spins off a tackle. That's a man's play for Chris Johnson picking up the first down. He just. We got truck specialists. I think Johnson got truck specialists. He's got truck specialists. Yes, truck it looks like it there. He, he doesn't literally have, there is an ability called truck specialist. He doesn't have that on his player. He's just saying he's a truck specialist. He is the truck specialist. He is the truck specialist. I don't have Without it. the ability. I am. Showing off there on fourth down. Give it to your workhorse running back. Give it to him again. But Pavin says settle down. Park the truck, CJ. And it's cool, you see, I mean, this Chris Johnson, it's a 96 overall, so when he's breaking tackles against these lower overall defenders and getting an icky like that, it's just because he's one of the better players on the field. That's a true playmaker that BY's given the ball to when he hands it off. Four's Not no budget up. back. Four's up in the chat. Fourth quarter. 20 to 17, Pavin with the lead, BY with the ball. I have a feeling this one's going to stay close until there are triple zeros on the clock. Johnson, right up the middle. The wheels on the bus go ground and pound with Chris Johnson almost at 100 yards. I love when you say that. That's a, that's a phenomenal line, Nick. I got to give a big shout out. That's, that's my, my league commissioner, Bomber. He, he said it once, and I just I was like, I got to use it. Shout out to our guys at the NBL watching, huh? Yeah. One of the best franchises in the business. Pumped at home. Everyone's pumped. It's Madden Bowl weekend. If you're not going to shout them out, I got to make sure I do it. I just don't want them thinking I like them that much. <laughs> got to settle down. How about Pavin getting the stop on third down, fourth and three, and VY, 54-yard field goal to tie the ball game up. Big kick right here. 
Using all that clock, running it down. So Dan Bailey, a kicker, the budget kicker. Oh, that's good. Kick is up. No. Short, it was good. short. Short on the kick. And now Pavin gets the ball back with great field position. Dan letting him down. Oh, look at that body language. That's rough, but VY, he had the accuracy right, which is why I thought it was good, but he definitely didn't have the power all the way at that top. That's huge right there for Pavin. It is one more time. Special teams, a factor. Right about there. Oh, his man. His heart went in his throat. Look at him. He missed that power. Right, now you got to focus up on defense. If you're VY, you got to have a short memory. You feel like you should be playing a tie ball game. Now you're down three on defense against one of the pro most prolific offenses in the world when it comes to John Madden football. See if you can get yourself out of this one. Three-point game, Pavin airing it out, second and 11. Another user mistake on defense. We've seen a couple from VY that's given Pavin a little bit of room to work with. Yeah, it did kind of click on his DB right there and move him out of the way. And I'm not saying the DB would have been able to intercept it, but you can't match some of those catch tackles as they're matching it up. And sometimes you knock the ball out in that situation. You might get a tipped interception. Let that ball bobble around a little bit, especially when the receiver's going up high for it. First and 10, pop. Hand it off to Joe Mixon. Gash him six yards. And this is what makes Pavin so tough to beat. I think he's one of the best down late in the game with the lead at slamming the door shut. Oh, absolutely. And if he can score a touchdown right here, you want to talk about slamming the door shut. That's going to put some serious pressure on VY. And real quick, Nick, let me just remind those that, that don't know the reason why you see Joe Mixon in a Raiders uniform and guys like Vernon Davis, Julio Jones, Mike Vick were playing the mutt salary cap mode. These guys aren't playing with the Raiders or the Titans. These are teams with current NFL players and former NFL legends that they constructed. It's a big penalty. Offensive penalties have been the story here in the first couple of games, backing up to a second and nine. Sprawls would say, putting themselves in some uh, mental pretzels up there on the big stage. How about Good Joe Mason? Right up the middle. Reed. I think he's going to be just shy of the line to gain. And how about this? A third and one. He's going to take this down to the two minute warning. Absolutely. And he's going to come out in this goal line formation. I'm almost positive. When he does want to call a play, and it's scary, like we talked about. You, you, you see goal line, you really want to commit to the run, but Pavin so many times on tape has showed us that he is willing to pass out of that formation. So it's just a great mental pretzel he's got his opponents in, keeping them very unbalanced against the formation that you, you, it's, you usually don't have to worry about that. Third and one. As RG would say, the goons are lined up on defense. Oh, he's oh, he got oh, that! Man. Oh, what a loss! What a play defensively from VY and a monumental fourth and two. And that's no accident. He he has practiced that many times. Look at him. Take that user defender oh, yes. runs right through the gap. And makes the tackle. Didn't get shaken off, makes the big play. And now, Pavit. He's attempting a long field goal. 54 yards from the right hash mark. He's got a little bit of power on there. Kick is up. Does it have the leg? It does. Six point game, but VY's going to get the ball with a chance to win and get to one and one. Yep, and if you're VY Electrify, I know you have all three timeouts. But what you really want to do is just make this the last possession of the game. Take a look inside the players' lounge. Serious Mo. He's on the couch. He's locked in the first the MCS join, belt winner. Join. He'll be at the desk gone, in gone. a little gone, over gone. an hour. Don't miss that. Over, 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 over. BY looking, looking for a money drive here. I won't say guap drive because I don't think I'm, I'm cool enough to pull that off. Get us on. Uh -oh. Uh oh, Lamar shook him off. He's got the open downfield. He finds Beckham on the other side. He's near midfield. He had multiple players open down the field. 
This is going to be interesting if you're VY. How much urgency do you have? Are, are you more focused on making sure you get the touchdown and trying to make this the last possession? Or do you try to leave yourself as much time as possible in case you don't score? This is an awkward situation. A lot of different players can handle this situation a lot of different ways, Nick. Gotta love, though, a minute left, down six. He's still gonna be who he is and give it to Chris Johnson. Yeah, and at this point, yep, I think he's committed to he's, this is the last drive of the game for him. He wants to score, leave Pavin no time left. Detroit, Detroit! He's gotta have some urgency Detroit, here, though. That Detroit. clock is ticking. Oh, Coleman. Timeout taken by B.Y. Didn't like something he saw. And now it's 100% official. This is the last drive of the ball game. Lock it in, folks at home. One's in the chat. You think B.Y. pulls off the comeback? Two. If you think Pobbin holds strong, and gets to 2-0. Oh. Second and seven. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. Moss in motion from left to right. Jackson dropping back. How about the O-line holding up? But how about the defense behind? Jackson's going to take off. He'll pick up a first down to the 40-yard line. Good play right there from V.Y. Uh, it was a good route combination, but the route that would have been open, Pavin took it away. Just scramble, get out of bounds, stop the clock. One thing I don't like, though, Nick, is he's standing in this single back formation in this, in this real two-minute drill type situation. You would have hoped he had some shotgun that he could have went through in this situation where he could rarely air the ball out. Sticking to his identity, second, or first and 10. Pressure! Jackson, down, goes Jackson. The pressure off the edge from Pavin gets to VY. He has to take a timeout and he loses nine. Was that Anthony Brown again? Right, now, Call him a budget six. player, but he's, he's, he's the bang for your buck. He's been huge Detroit, for Pavin. Detroit. That's the goon he's been sending. 49 yards away from tying the ball game up. VY needing to make some big plays. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Oh, this traffic he's directing at the line of scrimmage. Jackson rolls right. Oh, what a tackle inbounds keeps him. Oh, that's the last time out. Wow. Third down, not as crucial as that clock. 23 seconds and no yeah. way to stop it. Needed to throw that ball away. This is huge now, Nick. It's going to need a miracle. Still got time. Still got Jackson, Moss, Beckham. He hasn't managed this situation great, I'll tell you, Nick. The clock management and the utilization of the timeouts. When he goes back and watch this tape, no matter what happens, he's not going to be happy with the way. Oh, oh he's got him! He's got him! Go down! It's and close! The five, but it's what a tackle! It's ticking! It's ticking! It's in counting! He's going to have to call a quick play! Oh, we got drama here in game number two! The palms are sweating! This is it! Bob Spaghetti! Or something! Six seconds! Five seconds! Dropping back! Three seconds! Oh. Oh. Bob with the pick! Short and he will go to 0 